en Guanajuato buscamos un restaurante de tortas arrugadas, pero mm, no encontramos el restaurante. Um, ahora vamos a y vamos a uh, un restaurante de torta arrugada que se llama uh, Robert's. Después vamos a ir. <laughs> vamos a ir a uh, Arcos Vallarta, Guadalajara en bicicletas. It's a tough one. <laughs> It has uh, pork, uh, bread, and onions, and you can also put limon on it. And it puts some kind of salsa on it. I'm not sure if it's spicy or not yet, but it looks pretty good. This is what it looks like. finished the torta arrugada. It was pretty good. It's basically a pork sandwich and they just put salsa on it. Um, the good thing was that it was cheap. I think for the soda and everything it was only 64 pesos. So it's a good deal. Uh, worth trying once but I don't know if I would eat it again. I rather like mine's dry because it's easier to eat. It's a little bit messy at the end cleaning up yourself with napkins and uh, the limones. But uh, Juan had some um, bean tacos which were pretty good and uh, now we're gonna get some bikes and tear the city up <laughs> all right let's go so we're trying to rent bicycles it's 80 okay. pesos per bike for a day and oh, then there's a mashup yeah I can get back. hopefully my card works so there's your credit card yeah We tried getting a bicycle, but it turns out they didn't like my debit MasterCard for some reason. And they don't accept American Express either. The only other thing is with Visa, but I don't have mine right now. I'm gonna try another station, see if we can maybe oh, we finagle. Can the main street. Doesn't matter, huh? Go the main street. Okay. So. So we're gonna try to finagle, finagle our way into getting a bicycle somehow. And uh, so we don't have to walk all the way to the Arcos. We tried three bike stations and none of them actually took my card. So we're gonna end up walking today. And maybe I'll try and bring my visa tomorrow and figure it out. But uh, where we're going today, it's about as far of a walk as to the uh, Mastute Rimes bridge. So it's not too bad. Uh, looks hot out, but it's really not too bad if you just kind of stay hydrated and uh, walk pretty slowly Catch some shade and you're all good No bike no money no girlfriends <laughs> We're just walking and <laughs> taking a break <laughs> and uh, We're going to get some churros this was the place I was trying to find last time when I was in Centro, but we never found it, so I'm hoping we have better luck this time. I saw some pictures online and the place looks really good. It's churros and then in the center I think it's ice cream or some kind of cream. And then you can also get a cappuccino or a cafe. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can, uh, can't wait for it. And this is a nice little park here sitting at looks old school
wants to be one of those small Spanish towns that has like a mission. It's, it's, we're still at the same park. One thing I really like about South America and Latin America is that they have all this cool street art and it just the designs, the colors, it's very nice. So I wanted to share with you all as well. This place last time, Chile Casa Churro, and we finally found it today. So it looks really good. You're gonna get some uh, churro with ice cream in the middle, so I think that's what I'm gonna get. The small little shopping center. It's very upscale, hipster ish. It's Saturday and it seems like there's some kind of uh, outdoor market going on. There's a lot of people here eating lunch, brunch, afternoon lunch, whatever you want to call it. And we just got some churros here and it's pretty good. Um, I came here before but I didn't really find the churro place. I wasn't looking for it too hard. But uh, glad I made it back here and found it. And I have this little ice cream churro thing that's really good and Juan got the classic churros with the uh, carjetas carjetas dip carjeta carjeta what like is that caramel cookie. oh yeah. cookie and uh yeah this is the market that's going on downstairs can't see too much but trust me they're down there <laughs> So we finally made it to Arcos de Guadalajara and we're standing kind of in front of it now. We could go here too if you want if you want it. Where? El Parajo de Fuego? No no. Uh it's a little bit far. Chapultepec? Yeah. I'm sure it's nice but it's really far. Yeah. Look at that beast. close to the Arcos Vallarta Guadalajara and there's a really cool fountain here with looks like the goddess Athena from Greek mythology uh, goddess of wisdom her sign is an owl I believe she had an owl we're approaching the front side face now see what's going on What you guys just saw was Glorieta de la Minerva. Minerva is the Roman name for the goddess Athena. And we're unfortunate to not have any sun shine upon her. Uh, as you can see, there's a ton of clouds in the sky. So we're just kind of benching it here, relaxing a bit before we hit the market, maybe to get some fruit and some goods before we head back to our house. And we're actually pretty close to the Matute Remus Bridge, if you guys remember from the other video. Um, if you just kind of go that way, it's probably eight blocks, ten blocks away. And there was the taco truck too that we really enjoyed. But it's yeah, just going to kick it back here for a while and enjoy the traffic around this uh, roundabout. To add to our growing list of American chains, we just saw an Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's <was> really bad. <laughs> uh, 
we are now looking for food. We're gonna pass the wings place near Magna Centro, Magno Centro, the mall back there. And we're gonna head back to the place where we got churros and maybe get some Philly cheesesteak because I haven't had that in a while. And maybe there's something else there that's worth eating. But the rain kind of died down, still a little bit dark and gloomy, but we're holding up just fine. It's only gonna be about 10 or 12 blocks, so it's not bad. I'm gonna rough it up. Looks like there's a cube in my shoe. Got a little bit of bad news for Juan. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, it's a little rain coming down, so we gotta take a minor intermission before we continue our program. And uh, sh should be resuming s shortly. Not many great clouds in the sky, so we're very uh, hopeful. So there's these two people across the street, and uh, it's a uh, kind of love at first sight situation. Unfortunately, he didn't give her his coat, uh, but he is standing in front of the water to block the water for her. <laughs> Who knows? This could turn out to be something. Who knows? <laughs> I know we're kind of messed up for wanting, we're watching for a really big splash from a bus or something. <laughs> but we have nothing better to do right now. Right. Uh, we have no umbrella, no money, and no food. Send tacos. ASAP. <laughs> oh, really? So we finally made it to the uh, back to the turtle place and we got ourselves some Philly cheesesteak. Uh, Juan got the chicken Philly, but it's all good. Yeah, a lot of people here tonight and it seems like a good place to hang out on a Saturday night. Um, it's not like a dance party or anything like that, but just a place to eat and chill with your friends and family. Uh, we're still drying off. Juan is getting like. <laughs> He's got freaking water coming out of his socks. <laughs> I don't think I have any, but <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's a trooper. He's a trooper. He made through all of it. What? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so just wait for our cheesesteak here, and then we'll eat pretty soon. And it took uh, about 40 minutes to get home because we had to wait for the Uber and also wait for on the traffic and everything too. But just got home, took a nice... Uh, cold shower and uh, doing good gonna try to head uh, head to bed early so I feel rested for tomorrow do some uh, some work and uh, catch up before the week starts next week